Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to uh, The Walking Dead episode 1 a new day so let's start this by hitting X oh yeah I've been wanting to play this game for a while and uh, do an LP of it uh, I've only played the demo so we'll see what happens Oh yeah. Isn't that scene from the movie? I mean the the TV series? Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Does it really matter? Nah, not much. <laughs> well, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Every time? Every time. Followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. You're from Macon then? Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. Always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. Huh. Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there uh, long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Not really. Well, too bad. It's my car. You might have the right to remain silent, but it don't mean I gotta be. Huh. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you sit. Then before long he starts kicking the back of the seat like like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's gotta stop. But that's government property. And I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he uh. stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Huh. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Damn. Man? <laughs> Not even close. They caught the fucker red handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually huh. believed it himself. It goes to show, people up and go mad when they believe their life is over. 
I got another good one for you. Oh, this watch out. a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. Oh, shit! This other time... <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, it's the best I could come up with. Oh shit. Officer, are you all right? I'm still cuffed back here. Why the hell did he have his gun out? Officer? Oh, that doesn't look good. He wasn't ejected from the car. He's not moving. Maybe it was tossed from the car during the wreck. Hmm. He must have the handcuff keys on him. He must have the handcuff keys on him. to drag myself out that window. Come on. You can do it. Ow. Holy shit, he's hurt. carry with these cuffs off. Hmm. Shit. <gasps> oh shit, officer. Officer. Oh shit. Get 
Get it in there, man. Don't make me do this. Oh yeah. Is clumsy. Oh, man, they're everywhere. Oh, my God, move, move, move. One way to start. Hello? Okay. Anybody? Yeah. Well, well, that's one way to uh, to to leave the game there. So uh, everybody, thank you for watching from Blue Hawk 88, and stay tuned for more. Thank you.